Hello, welcome to game three of my match against Singleton. Uh, they're up two to zero. I have what is now my third in a row, five two. I suppose I'm just going to get a treasure, uh, tr open treasure in native village. Um, that seems pretty much better than trading post. Um, does it? Trading post thins estates, um, which I want to do. But the treasurer gives you money now. Um, gives you three money now. I guess trading post kind of gives you one or two money now, um, depending on what, what happens. Um, it's not super clear to me. I think trading post native village makes sense. Uh, I'll pick up a bunch of silk merchants. I can pick up a treasurer fairly quickly here. Um, uh, I really want... Uh, Treasurer seems like it will enable me to hit, hit high price points early to buy those silk merchants. Then I can always pick up like a sacrifice or a trading post in a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Talk to myself into it and out of it and back back to it. Okay. Uh, trash by a silk merchant. We got another silk merchant. Let's set aside a copper. I like the sacrifice idea as well. Slightly annoying draw, but I think it should be fine. Um, as long as I'm setting aside copper, yeah, that's quite nice. Um, so if I don't find one of my silk merchants, I can't play the native villages or the thing I said. I could have sacrificed the uh, silk merchant and been able to do it. Um, so I'm strongly considering getting a cursed village here. Um, the advantage of the cursed village is I'm, I'm decreasing hand size with sacrifice treasure both my native villages. Uh, the downside is the um, hexes, a couple of which like flip over my deck, which maybe isn't the end of the world because all my good cards are here and the only, I don't really have any three costs in there. So discard down to three cards. Okay, that one was a quite good one. This is another quite strange shuffle here. I'm probably going to set aside twice um, unless I pick up something really good. Um, so if I pick up, I can trash an estate and buy a three cost, which would probably be another native village or maybe an enchantress. Um, alternatively, next turn, I'll have six cards. I can play the cursed village, draw one, play the, um, silk merchant. Yeah, that seems quite a bit better. Oh, never mind. I set aside the Cursed Village, um, which was the worst of the six cards. Yeah, it was the absolute worst of the six cards to have set aside. Um, yikes. It's only one in six, but it might it might be game losingly bad, um, that decision to set aside there. Um, here I'll pick up another Silk Merchant and hope I find my native village fairly quickly. All right, I'm going to uh, pick this up. Um, so sacrifice an estate, draw one, draw two. So bottom two cards are native village treasurer. Um, is it worth a coffer to play? the treasurer this turn? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I've thinned six, three cards. Um, they actually appear to be ahead on thinning. Um, well, no, maybe I'm ahead on thinning. I've thinned one estate and three coppers. They've thinned two estates and two coppers. Okay. Um, 
So if I don't uh, draw on here, if I draw on, I just have a lot more money. I can do a lot more stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. No need to play the native village. Trash, and I've got to seven. Um, so I still have four terminals and three actions. If I wanna add another action, if I wanna add another terminal, I need to add another uh, action. Um, considering sacrifice, another sacrifice lets me sacrifice silk merchants. Um, and like sacrifice and enchantress, uh, to start getting enchantress drawdown. Um, and slightly, slightly annoy them. Um, the alternative would be like another treasurer in a native village, um, which is also nice. Um, gives me more payload, um, and I still have three coppers to trash. Um, although, well, yeah, once the coppers are gone, the uh, the treasure is still nice. Um, I don't really like getting the native more native villages. Uh, so I'm going to go Sacrifice Enchantress, I think. This is a very good starting hand for me. Um, if they don't discard it, which they did not. And these are kind of nice. I mean, they're plus, you know, the treasurer gives me one more coin and the effect. The minion, you can discard any good cards. Um, it's non-terminal, so. They can have action. Okay, so set aside. Sacrifice an estate. Basically, draw deck there. Um, okay, well, I can play one Silk Merchant. Um, the last card of my deck is something I want to draw. Um, it is a Copper, it looks like. Um, I think I want to draw that, so I'm going to sacrifice the Silk Merchant here. Okay, so end actions. Um, okay, so now I need to add payload fairly quickly. Uh, the best payload I think is going to be treasurer. And after I trash the last estate with sacrifice, I can sacrifice a sacrifice to a sacrifice, something like that, um, which seems seems decent. Uh, I'm probably just going to, oh, I, I have Enchantress coming in, so I have a decent chance of having a good turn here. Yeah, gold is a quite good card. I will strongly think about getting one myself, although I kind of prefer the action payload here. Another native village. I'm just not sure how well the native villages plays with all the coppers they still have. Okay, so if I want to draw this turn, I can play the native village, trash a copper, and then draw. Sacrifice an estate. I can sacrifice a silk merchant here. Um, is that better than nothing? Um, it doesn't feel better than nothing. It feels like um, a silk merchant might still come in handy, but maybe not. Um, that'll give me a coffer, but I'm probably just going to buy one gold here um, to get me up to six payload. Um, Take the key. Uh, I think one gold is fine for the deck that I've built. I do want to pick up another Enchantress at some point. It doesn't play super great with the Cursed Village, but it increases reliability. Um, and when I'm losing in a match, I tend to want to increase reliability. Um, as we saw in the first game where I had a, a pretty bad shuffle, although my deck was not great. Um, and they have gone for more ramping their payload up faster than I have. OK, 
Okay. Um, war, which trashed nothing. Um, have they already gotten rid of their... Oh, the sacrifice was in play. Okay. Um, so I can either pick up here or not. I think I'm going to pick up. Um, okay, so I can now sacrifice a copper. Draw a deck. I could... Oh, I've screwed this up. I've screwed this up terribly. Silk Merchant was my only plus buy. I'm not quite sure how I missed that earlier. Yikes. Okay, so I'm buying a Silk Merchant here. <laughs> On 10. Well, mistake made. Uh, the lesson is uh, when you're analyzing the kingdom and you see that there's plus buy, make sure you don't um, remove the plus buy from your deck. That was a pretty pretty bad opportunity cost there because I could have bought uh, like a full I could have bought a minion or a gold or a treasury treasure that turn. Um, they've got quite a few minions. Um, yeah, so I think any advantage I might have had before I trashed the silk merchant was gone. Um, but let's forget about that moving forward until after the game and see what they do here. Yeah, I was a little bit bitten early in the kingdom. I felt like I had very unlucky draws um, where I over, over terminal collided more than I could have with multiple native villages. But uh, let's analyze that later. So they've got 16. Um, double province here doesn't seem crazy. Or like triple minion, minion, double treasure or something. They have, um, they have actions they can, they can make work here. Um, I don't know that they need more cursed villages, like double minion treasurer and just build to keep building until I buy green cards. Makes sense, given that they're ahead here. It feels like almost any like three random cards that they buy are going to be fine. Uh, I mean, random cards of the candidates. So, treasures, minions, cursed silks, enchantress, a gold. Any of those things all seem all seem perfectly fine. So, sign, pick up, get rid of one of the sacrifices. Take the key back. Nine, I will go minion, silk merchant. Hope, hope they discard attack me with a minion at some point, but I have enough villagers now. They ended up getting, yeah, three minions. I thought their deck could support more treasures, um, but they may have just wanted reliability. And if you're ahead far enough as they are, the reliability um, doesn't come with much cost um, at max payload. Yep. All right, so lead on a Silk Merchant here, uh, set aside. Um, Plus coins. Um, I can't actually get play both these if I well, I think I can. I'm going to take a copper here. 
keep it for next turn. Okay, so 12. Um, and um, they've gotten two provinces. So I'm going to get a minion and a province, I guess. And just hopefully they have a uh, dud turn, although I'm not quite sure how that would happen given that they have five or six minions in the deck. They would have to draw all green cards and treasures. Yeah, so it looks like they're just going to double province here. Uh, I'm going to province Dutchy, and then they're going to double province on the last turn. That seems like the most likely um, scenario here. I should have another uh, minion down at the bottom of the deck here. We've had to discard with a couple of minions, um, which is good. It means they're not getting quite as much payload as they were previously. Um, they trashed a Silk Merchant now, although they still have one, so they have double buys still. Worth noting, at least. Okay. Um, pick up. The last card of the deck is what? Um, I'm going to want it, I think, no matter what, so um, take the key. Discard. Silk Merchant, Coins, um, so I've got 7, 10, 14, I was just going to buy Province Dutchy this turn anyways, um, so I can play the Treasure, Sacrifice a Copper, buy Province Dutchy. Seems unlikely if they get a third province, a province here. Even if they get a province here, I, I don't think I can win, but, you know, it, maybe there's some crazy draw that they could have where they draw, like, three provinces and a gold and a sacrifice or something. One native village. Unlikely, but worth playing for. This is going to be double province, though. So, good game to single T. Um, I thought I was doing fine early on, and I, I lost the thread at some point when I trashed my plus buy. Um, I did have some unfortunate shuffles, but I don't think that was the significant factor. Uh, I'll have to have to watch this again and see exactly, exactly how. Because even with having that dead turn to buy the Silk Merchant, it seemed like they were perhaps um, two turns ahead. Uh, anyways, they played that well, so uh, moving to game four.